Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be taking a look at what's over at the Funko HQ. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is a pretty exciting video, and if you guys don't know, we actually recently got a new intern, and his name is Grant, and he's been super helpful. He actually had a really great idea where he wanted to go to the HQ, which he lives by, and was going to record a lot of footage for us of what's at the HQ. He took some photos, as well as some really great videos. So we're going to be going through this today, checking out what's at the HQ, and the cool thing is, is that the HQ is open from Wednesday to Sunday. So they would be open, um, I guess, so today would be Sunday, the day that I'm filming this, and then, so if you guys want to see this stuff and some of this stuff will probably still be there when they open up on Wednesday there is probably gonna be some one-off stuff that they don't have there anymore but this will give you a good idea of what is at the Funko HQ this week and in case anybody's wondering they're open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they're at 2802 Wetmore Avenue Everett Washington um, which if you guys want to go there you guys totally can they are open like I said all of those days but let's see what's over at the HQ Alright guys, so the first thing they have here is their newest exclusive table, and it looks like they have a lot of the Pez, so I actually ordered these ones online. So this is Negaduck, Darkwing Duck, and Launchpad McQuack. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Pez, as well as Pop Pez and Pops, so they kind of really mix together the two uh, different collectibles, so I really like showing them both off on the channel. Uh, but this right here is their newest ones that they've come out with. It is the three of them here. I ordered these ones. There was a bit of a trouble on the website where they were only letting you order two per order. They did fix that though, so if you guys still wanted to order them, you guys totally can, but if you guys don't want to pay for shipping, they'll will still be at the HQ. Oh, here's some cool stuff, guys. So this is the next photo we had sent. This is some of the My Hero stuff that is there right now, as well as the um, remix figures, the Alien remix ones. Those ones are really, really well done. I'm such a big fan of those ones. When those ones come out to somewhere near us, I'm hoping EB Games or something like that, I totally want to pick those ones up. But yeah, the My Hero ones look really great. But I did notice these on the left side here. It's called Mr. Hand as well as somebody in a pirate hat. And then there's some other ones above it, Carly Lloyd. I don't know what license that's from, so if you guys know, drop it in the comment section below. But yeah, these two licenses here that we can see, the My Hero Hello Kitty ones, as well as the Remix ones, are some of my favorites from this year. Here's a photo of their kind of, I would say, like very limited exclusive. So they might have some of these left when you go on Wednesday, if you guys are gonna go. Um, but some of the ones that I do see here are some pretty great exclusives. They have the Creators 3-pack from Game of Thrones, um, as well as some other Game of Thrones ones as well. They have the HBO shop exclusive metallic one. So because of the Funko HQ and because they are Funko, they can pretty much put out whatever exclusives they want there. So they do get in some really weird ones sometimes, like these ones. Now I do see that one from Super, is it Super Heracule, I believe it is, from Dragon Ball. That's really cool. I also see the Walgreens exclusive uh, Hawkeye. There's that two pack there from, I don't remember what it's called. It was a New York Comic Con exclusive. We'll pop it on the screen right now for you guys. But uh, yeah, there's some really, really great stuff here. Stuff that I would love to pick up. I just can't go over there now, but at least Grant can show us what they've got. Here guys is some video of over in the Marvel section. I wanted to check this out because there is probably some pretty good stuff here. Um, just looking through it though, I see some of the 10 inch uh, Hulks as well as Groot. Oh, if you pause right here, they have the new Marvel Battle World stuff. This is a game, like a tabletop game that they're doing with Funko Games. And uh, it's got some really cool stuff. So it's collectibles mixed with a board game, which I think is really awesome. Um, but yeah, they have some of that there. I also see some of the Spider-Man stuff, the 80th anniversary ones, um, Boombastic Bagman from Walgreens. There's the Stan Lee vinyl idol, which is really cool. That one is a life-size Stan Lee figure. Um, we also have the Chimichanga truck, which usually has all the Deadpool stuff. That's really awesome. As well as a lot, a lot of other stuff. They got their lounge fly ones, the t-shirts, some of the potted Groots, as well as the Guardians of the Galaxy ones. Ooh, they have the New York Comic Con exclusive Stan Lee. I just paused there because that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of really great stuff over here in the Marvel section. And then here's the sports section as well. All of these though look really great. I'm a huge fan of a lot of the sports ones that they do. And it looks like they've got a lot of football as well as a lot of the baseball mascots. Now guys, here's another shot of them over at the front there. So you can see Ninja, which is really cool. And they also have some of the, I believe they're ECCC exclusive um, Freddy with the Funko HQ. So if you want to pick that one up, it's literally of the building. I think that is so awesome. And then we're curving around here to a lot of the Disney stuff. But you guys can see a lot of lounge fly, a lot of cups, a lot of different stuff. They don't just have pops. They have pretty much all of their licenses and everything is just in one store, which I think is amazing. Um, you guys can see here, they've got a lot of really great stuff this time. A lot of cool exclusives that you don't see very 
often as well. A lot of cool Pez there. I also see some of the Lion King, Hocus Pocus, but yeah, just a lot of really great stuff. Here we've got their Freddy Funko section. Now they do have some of their skateboards there. I've actually been meaning to pick one of those up and I haven't been able to get one. I should have got one when we went to the HQ, but I just totally forgot about it. But they have a lot of Freddy's here as well as a lot of Pez and a lot of their exclusive merchandise that you can only buy there like t-shirts as well as some certain Freddy Funkos. Okay, so there are some of their cereal bowls as well as some of the, uh, which ones are they? The fantastic plastic figures. Um, that is really, really awesome that they do have those. I also see the baseball Freddy, which you had to get if you were going to the Everett Aqua Sox game. They also have it here as well. Um, some of the ad icons over here as well as these are the Funko Shop exclusive ones that they have in stock, which is probably different than what they have on the website. Maybe very similar, but there could be some that they got in like one or two of that they're going to put here at the HQ that you wouldn't see online. As well as I also see some ad icon mystery minis. Those are really hard to come by as well. But yeah, just a lot of really great stuff here that you do not see very often. As well as some kids t-shirts, which are pretty awesome. They also have the ad icon plush. It's Lucky the Leprechaun, Sunny the Cuckoo, and Trix Rabbit. Those ones are on GameStop, but as an assorted one, so you don't know which one you're getting. But here at the HQ, you can pick whichever one you like. Here we are over in the Wetmore 4 section. Now this stuff doesn't change too often. They did do it so it was every season they would get in new figures. So I wonder if they're gonna be re-releasing them again for this year, just to, you know, the different seasons, whatever they had last year. But you guys can see here, it looks amazing. They have a lot of really awesome stuff. You guys can see the Wells Fargo across the street, which is great if you need a little extra cash for the HQ. But yeah, they have a lot of really great figures here, as well as all of the different plush sizes. They make a small, a medium, and a large. I think I have the large for one of them. I don't remember what his name is. It's Snuggletooth. That's the one. So you guys can see here they've got a lot of the winter ones, as well as some hidden characters around the area, which is really cool, because they have like a goat that you can find up at the top. If you guys can find that goat when you go to the HQ, uh, totally take a photo and tag me in it, because it's really awesome to see that stuff. But yeah, they've got the t-shirts there. It's a lot of the kid sizes in here as well, so if you are um, a little bit younger and want these, you guys can get stickers, pins, as well as t-shirts, some buttons as well, and they have mystery keychain plush as well. Um, which just look really great. Here's also, I believe this is their summer or spring section. You guys can see on the left side there. Um, and they do have some really, really great plush there. Okay, this is cool, guys. So this is their DC section. I already see some really great ones that I would love to pick up. They have the pop sockets there, which look really cool. Now, those ones you can actually find on their website, but they're $15 if you guys would like to buy them. They're in collaboration with actual pop sockets, which I think is really cool. So Funko, DC, and pop sockets, I guess, work together to create those. And a little bit lower, I see the Pride Batman. I haven't been able to find those ones in person yet, but that is really cool that they do have them. Um, at the bottom there, you can see a lot of different Joker figures, something you don't see very often at all anymore. And then if you guys look on the far left here, this is neat. They have the original Wonder Woman, and that means that they're gonna be re-releasing those ones over and over again at the HQ. So you could get lucky and find a one in 36 chase of that one, which is metallic. Um, if you ever see any of those original superhero ones, pretty much from like 15 and under, there are metallic chases. Um, which is really, really cool if you can find those because they're worth a pretty penny. Here's a better shot of the exclusive section at the Funko HQ towards the front there. You can see, I think those are some new t-shirts there in the bottom left, as well as the Funko bags. I, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Oh no, I might have that one. I don't know, it's hard to tell when they're folded up like that, but they do have a lot of really great stuff. You guys can see they've got Finn to Chomp, Gil, both different versions of Gil actually. One of them is the SDCC or New York Comic Con exclusive, I don't remember, but it's one of those ones. And then you can see they have some of the Myth Sign, which is a really, really popular line right now. A lot of people have been trying to get those ones. So they have the Gnome, Cyclops, Minotaur, as well as the Jackalope, and the Smoky Bear, which is really cool. Also, if you guys are into Dorbs rides, I see they have a couple up top there by the uh, skateboards. They have the Freddy Funko and his ice cream truck, as well as one of the Thundercats ones, which is pretty cool. And then on the right side there is where their postcards are, sweaters, as well as a lot of the Freddy Funkos. Here's a better shot of the Funko Shop section, if you guys want to see this. So like I said, this is all the stuff that's in the Funko Shop. You can pretty much buy all of this stuff on the Funko Shop as well. But if you don't want to pay for shipping and you live nearby, this is a great way to get it. But I do see there, you can also see a lot of their board games as well, which is the Godzilla one, which we took a look at a little while back, as well as the Pan Am one, which I do want to look at uh, sometime eventually. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Um, they also have the Funko Verse there. They have a couple different ones, Golden Girls, Back to the Future, Jaws. Now I've never seen the Jaws one in person, but I do know that there is a chase version where where the shark actually has blood coming out of his mouth. So if you guys want to find that one, I would say come here because they'll probably have a buttload of them. Not chases, just the board games in general. And here's a video of the Harry Potter section. I know this one has a lot of really great stuff. You guys can see the rock candies there. That's their display. Um, they have a lot of really cool like hidden features as well. There's a lot of hidden crowns around 
the HQ. And I know when I was there, Sully and I actually took a look around and uh, saw all the different ones, or at least he showed me a bunch of them. And uh, you guys can see a lot of really great exclusives, a lot of the newer stuff, but they also do put out some of the older stuff as well. Um, but yeah, they have some really great ones. Also, um, at the very bottom there, under that middle table, I did notice that they had all the 10 inch ones. So if you guys are looking for those, I'd recommend going there to pick them up. And then guys, here's the last photo that Grant had sent over. You can actually see the uh, 10 inch ones right behind the 18 inch Harry Potter. They have the Voldemort as well as the Dumbledore. Both of them are really, really detailed. I would totally recommend picking them up. And then the Harry Potter with Hedwig is one that I am looking for. It's, I think it's about $100 for that one. It's expensive, but it's totally worth it. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you to Grant for sending all of these over. And if you guys would like to see another one of these maybe in a week or two, uh, let me know in the comment section below because we can totally do that. But anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.